verdad que, que sí necesitan ayuda. Y, y cuesta, ¿cómo decir? No quiero que pasen por eso. Nadie quisiera que sus hijos pasen por estas cosas. Y lo más gratificante es saber que hay niños que van a tener una esperanza. Saber que Dios va a estar ahí. Cuando le hablamos de la palabra, eh, saber que hemos invocado, pero saber que ellos van a tener un lugar donde ir. Saber que tal vez mamá y papá no puedan, pero Dios sí puede. Y Dios nunca se va a olvidar de ellos. So Compassion is a international development organization that focuses on releasing children from poverty in Jesus' name. Hi, my name is Orlando Gonzalez. I'm from Honduras. I'm working in Compassion Honduras. We're working with the churches in this country. Historically, we've had a lot of churches help launch new Compassion Project sites, um, but we've never done that with a school. she liked to paint and that she's four. And so I was kind of like, Lord, I have no idea who this kid is. Um, I just know that she's the one I chose to sponsor. You know, this partnership is interesting because it's one that's never been done this way with the university before. And, and, and what's been done so far, where we're at today, is that CCU has, has put forth a, a sum of money to be able to build out the place where we're standing right now. And this church that we're working with, that we're partnering with, has already invested a great deal to build the buildings themselves. But what they've been able to do now because of CCU's partnership is to put in those buildings um, simple things, tables, water, desks. been able to see a compassion graduation ceremony which was so neat because we're at the very foundation of a project here at our sponsored site. I want to say that during the time that I have been here at the CDC, he aprendido mucho. I have learned so much. At a site where there's 350 students who go through the program who come day in uh, and day out and receive tutoring and meals and things. We got to see a graduation ceremony where 12 students who had graduated out of the program were being given diplomas, they were given a Bible, they were prayed over and celebrated, and we got to, to just see kind of the end of the road and the empowerment that comes through that. So that was a real joy. The mere fact of being here Para mí es un gran privilegio. is a privilege for me que no todos tienen, that not everyone has, pero yo lo tengo. but I have it. We're at a four-year university, some of us graduating in three, who already have internships and jobs lined up that are providing sustainability for our own lives. And now we have an opportunity to do that for these young kids and grow them up to know the Lord. I think as our community, as our CSU community, that's something that we should be pouring into and jumping at and investing in. We intend to mobilize our students to engage with this church for the indefinite future, reaching out to these children, partnering with this church to establish healthy disciples. It's an opportunity to serve the Lord and also serve the children in need in our country. Take advantage while you can right now and do it alongside people who are also passionate about it and really want to continue driving towards building the kingdom together.